It's a really interesting question and one that most people sort of take for granted. And one of the interesting things about the breath world is that it's such a deep part of our physiology that we can easily take for granted its role in innocuous things like weight loss. And most of us, when we think about losing fat, we sort of think that we burn it off, but nobody's really like taking a lighter to the side of their body uh, and, and burning their fat. What's actually happening is that in aerobic metabolism, when our body uses this stored energy in an aerobic pathway, the waste from that is carbon dioxide and water. And actually when we use this stored fat in the presence of a caloric deficit, our body breathes out about 82% of the fat that we're losing as carbon dioxide. And that's kind of a trippy thing to think about and the rest we urinate out as water, but that most of the fat that we burn is actually exhaled through our breath when we're doing work. And when I learned that, it really tripped me out. There's a really cool TED talk called The Mathematics of Weight Loss. Um, if you haven't seen it, check it out. It's really easy to find on the web. Um, it's a very, very interesting story about how this physicist went through the weight loss process. And then he really started to wonder, where does this go? And you know, if you're a exercise phys or a, um, a biochem student, this fact is probably like, yeah, no kidding. But for most of us who don't have a deep background in, uh, in chemistry like this, it's kind of a mind boggling thing. And to me, the fact that this is how nature is constantly integrating systems uh, is a really, really beautiful thing. So just another way that breath is connecting many, many different practices and uh, systems in our body.